I'm Deepak Chopra. You're watching One World with Deepak Chopra coming to you from Deepak Home Base in New York City. My very special guest uh, today is uh, Dr. Max Eric Tegmark. He is a professor of physics at MIT. Uh, we're going to talk about his book, which I have now read about three times, still trying to figure out uh, all that's there in it. It's called A Mathematical Universe my quest for the ultimate nature of reality. So we're going to get into this and many other things, but uh, can I call you Max? Of course. Okay. I've never been much for formalities. <laughs> okay. So y you have a kind of a cross-cultural background. You, you are American. You grew up uh, in Sweden, though, right? That's right. I was, I was born and raised there, and uh, I've always thought of myself mostly as a, as a citizen of the world That's right. and uh, always um, liked to take the, the bigger picture, global or, or universal or <laughs> even multiversal perhaps, always trying to take another step back and mm -hmm. see the larger perspective. Your father was in New York City at one point, right? And then yeah. went back to Sweden. My dad was actually born right here in Brooklyn, mm -hmm. but he loved to travel something I inherited from him. He went to Sweden in the 60s. He was Swedish. In no, the worst, born no. here. But, but then he met my mom, you know, this tall, blonde, uh, Swedish woman, and, and the rest is history. And I see. they're still over there. I see. And he was, he's also a scientist, right? Mathematician. Mathematician. Exactly. So, even so though, he inspired you. Yeah, even though he never pushed math at me in any way, it was always obvious that he just loved math. And uh, that made me very cur curious as a kid when he would stand there and do the dishes, you know, or go on walks with me. I would, I would ask him these questions and I, about how he thought about math. And he would always light up and tell me. And it, it definitely rubbed off. And so you were interested in math all your life as a child, too? I was always interested in mysteries and puzzles. I loved uh, detective novels when I was a kid, and I uh, used to love these books with logic puzzles. You know, there's an island, and a farmer, and a goat, and a wolf, and how is he going to get them to the other side? But, and <laughs> stuff like this. And, but in high school, actually, physics was my most boring subject, I felt. I, I, it seemed like an extremely dull set of cookbook recipes, and I went off into other directions, studying economics in college. And it wasn't until later that I realized what I had been missing, that actually physics is the ultimate detective mystery, just the sort of thing I loved, except here I got to be part of it and be one of the detectives going after these grand questions like where did our universe come from, you know, how did it work, does it work? 